Hi, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. We have exercise number 3 for chapter number 10. We will create a section, a single section with our sample line which we already created in exercise number 2. So these two exercises are linked. So if you want to watch exercise number 2, go to the description and you will get the link for exercise number 2. We can draw cross sections uh, multiple but in this exercise we will just draw single cross section for any station in our uh, drawing. Now that you have a sample line in your drawing which we will open in our AutoCAD Civil 3D and we need a means by which to display that data in your drawing just as a profile needs a profile view to make it visible. A cross section needs a section view. Section view are similar to profile view. They usually display a grid and some grid labels as a backdrop to the data they house. The section view is dynamically linked to the sample line and uh, associated data sources. This means as with other civil 3D objects that if the sample or source data is modified, the section will also automatically modify. So we can create individual section views uh, as mentioned. Uh, Previously, one extra consideration with section view is that they often are created in large numbers. So you will learn how to address that change in the next section for now. Let's focus on exercise number three for now that how can we create individual section views. Before starting, if you are new on my YouTube channel, Please subscribe Civil 3D Pro Designer and you can also access me through my Facebook page Civil 3D Pro Designer where you can take many more material about Civil 3D and latest update. Here we have exercise number 3 create individual sections section view I can draw section without these steps but I will prefer this step to you that it will help you to get clear concept and it will nice practice for you that you must need to follow these steps and I will provide you practice drawing for this exercise you can get them from description link Step number one, open the drawing name creating single section view. So I need to open the create the drawing create sample create single section views. Here we have three viewports in our drawing. Our step number two in the left viewport zoom into the sample line level zero plus 405 station when you will click here you need to find 405 station number 405 here we have 405 this one so if we want to take a section for this sample line or this station we will select this sample line okay which we will do in the next step click the sample line and then click create section view create section view on the ribbon when you will select then you will see here create section view and here create section view you will click so step number three in the create section view general dialog box verify that the following items are selected number one select alignment should be Jordan code because we are we have sample line on Jordan code then sample line group name should be design because we want to see the design section and sample line should be 405 and station 
uh, also 405 405 405 you must need to confirm them and uh, station view style where we have style it should be design so click next to advance to the create section view offset range dialog box here we can see offset range dialog box click next to advance to the create section view elevation range dialog box you don't need to change anything here just click on next and then step number six click next to advance to the station to, uh, to the section uh, display option dialog box verify that the style selected from the chosen court corridor section is designed you don't need to change anything here and just click next and here should be style design step number seven click next to advance to the data bands dialog box here we have data band dialog box and verify that the style selected from the children court corridor section is design offset step number seven uh, sorry step number eight when prompted to end sorry step number seven click the next to advance to the data band dialog box verify that design offset is selected under selected which we already have done now we need to click ok uh, sorry we need to click on create section view then step number eight when prompted to identify the section view origin here it is asking for the origin of section view we need to select a empty space here in the right view port and click now you can see a cross section of 405 station uh, step number 97 close your drawing but we will see our cross section here when you will zoom you can see assembly in our section view and you can see the station 405 so we just create a section of a single station in this exercise in the next exercise we will learn that how can we take multiple cross section in just once so if you like my video kindly subscribe and if you want to buy this book you can also access me through my facebook page or social media to buy this book with 19 chapter 19 chapter with exercises and uh, some videos also hope you like this video kindly subscribe and share thank you